thank you all for a start. I would like to thank you, uh, Dr. David Aklan, my supervisor, and uh, my uh, another supervisor, um, Professor Peter Lee, and uh, other um, researchers from uh, the Royal Melbourne Hospital. As you see here, the names of them. So. Uh, looking inside medical reports, uh, there is an increasing number of people with lower limb amputations resulting from traumatic, vascular, accident, and congenital uh, causes. Um, for example, in this country, uh, over 20,000 amputees are living, and in the U.S., uh, more than 1.7 million amputees are living, uh, which is expected to be more than double by the year 2050. Uh, this number, uh, um, this type of patients, uh, more specific above knee amputees that I'm working on, um, uh, have uh, show abnormalities during gait. For example, as you see here, for example, they walk asymmetrically, which causes severe long-term uh, skeletal disease, such as leg and um, low back pain, as you see here. And uh, they also have a greater uh, metabolic cost during walking, a reduction in walking speed. Uh, and uh, most important, uh, about, because amputees uh, are used to rely more on the intact limb rather than amputated side, uh, the prevalence of hip and knee osteoarthritis of the uh, intact limb is high among them. Uh, so... Uh, amputees, uh, the patients need to uh, do more uh, daily activities, walking, running, climbing, and so on. And uh, they need to walk uh, symmetrically, like uh, normal people, uh, like uh, non-amputees. And most important, uh, they need to prevent or delay any musculoskeletal disorders, such as knee osteoarthritis. So my overall research uh, program is, um, I want to understand uh, how amputees move, uh, which lower limb muscles uh, they are using during uh, walking in the absence of lost muscles uh, in order to improve mobility among them or in order to design new um, rehabilitation program, design new assistive devices such as prosthetic and so on. Uh, so... Um, to approach this aim, it is important to know um, how much forces each muscle of the lower limb is generating during uh, walking from point A to point B. So uh, in uh, non-amputees, ankle plantar flexors are critical role, uh, have, have critical role in uh, walking, in body support, forward progression, and uh, mediolateral balance. So. Uh, in the absence of uh, these muscles and knee muscles in, uh, of, the, of one leg among amputees, uh, uh, either prosthetic or other intact and residual muscles com um, must compensate uh, uh, the functional use of lost muscles. So the first, uh, my, my question in this project is, what is individual muscle contribution to uh, body support, forward progression, and uh, balance control during working among amputees. Uh, in, uh, to approach, uh, in order to answer this question, uh, we must use uh, uh, computational model because uh, it's impossible to direct measure muscle forces during walking. Uh, so, uh, because amputees have lost uh, some muscles, some uh, lower limb muscles, uh, uh, we need to we need to use uh, 3D musculoskeletal model. Uh, it has two approaches. Uh, robotic approach uh, gives us joint kinematics, in, including joint angles and positions during walking um, from point A to point B. Uh, and uh, this approach, robotic approach, uh, gives us uh, how much force uh, every joint uh, of um, uh, for example, hip joint, knee joint, and intact joint of the uh, lower limb muscle uh, and lower extremity uh, needs to produce um, a, a specific motion. Uh, 
And uh, because uh, Ankit is, uh, because uh, uh, we are working on, uh, uh, we are working with uh, body, human body, uh, we need to uh, apply, we need to add some actuators like muscles uh, to the model. So, uh, uh, with knowing musculoskeletal musculoskeletal dynamics behavior, uh, combining with equation of motion, uh, we can cal this model can uh, calculate uh, muscle forces, and uh, in the three uh, um, uh, body plane, sagittal, transverse, and frontal planes. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, previous models have uh, found uh, in uh, healthy subjects in non amputees have found, for example, uh, uh, soleus and gastrocnemius uh, are more important uh, in body support during walking than vascular muscles about, uh, for uh, knee muscles and gluteus maximus and medius. Uh, of hip muscles, uh, um, these are um, those muscles uh, are important in body support in health subjects. So uh, uh, we uh, uh, so uh, we want to know uh, uh, in the absence of uh, lost muscles uh, in amputees, uh, uh, what compensatory mechanism amputees are using. After collecting data in, uh, I, I mean after um, uh, motion capture and getting motion capture and collecting data of ground reaction forces and EMG signals uh, and attaching uh, uh, prosthetic to model, we uh, built a model in OpenSIM software in sagittal and frontal plane, as you see here. And then uh, um, uh, we hope to finalize, we hope to uh, compute uh, muscle contribution uh, with a bunch of mathematical models, mathematical equations, and dynamical, uh, dynamics equations to know um, how, uh, how much force is uh, each muscle uh, generating for movement. Uh, and finally, uh, um, to conclude, I desire to um, improve rehabilitation programs about amputees and uh, design new um, assistive devices and then um, making better uh, overall mobility. Thank you.